Sheepdog and Sheep Sheep, Bad Hair Day by Eric Barclay. This is Sheep. She loves her naturally curly wool. When it's full and fluffy, she feels as light as a cloud. Sometimes she styles her, her wool in a bun like this, or ties it up into pigtails like this, or puts it in a fancy hairdo like this. But, oh no, her wool has grown too full and too fluffy. And when it's this full and fluffy, she can't see. And when she can't see, she trips over things, usually rocks. Splash. Holy begonia, water chickens. Goodbye, water chickens. Hello, sheepdog. How can I see with all this wool in my eyes? Sheepdog had the answer. No, thank you, Sheep replied. I know what will help. Be right back. Off Sheep went, past the tractor, past the chickens, through the cow poop, past the well. And right into the mud. But she meant to do that. Really, why didn't you look where I was going? I've got the perfect thing. Found it. Hmm, this hat isn't bringing me joy. I give up. You just need a haircut, said Sheepdog. You'll feel so much better. Sheep? 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 Sheepdog ran to the old truck to see if sheep was hiding there. He looked in the meadow. He looked in the shed. He even asked the pig. Has anyone seen sheep? He asked at the duck pond. Nobody here but us water chickens, said a bush. Finally, he found her. I'm just not ready to give up my fluffy wool, Sheep said sadly. It grows back, you know. Why didn't you say so? Buzz, buzz, snip, snip, clip, clip. I love it. No more tripping, no more mud, no more hats. I feel fabulous. It's your turn now. You're going to feel so much better. Sheepdog? Sheepdog. The end.